There isn't quite any feeling like digging stuff out of the dirt and things. The last time people were looking at this, you know, is about 500 years ago. It's kind of a neat feeling. That is 265 R. We're here at the wall site uh, near Hillsboro, North Carolina on the Eno River. We're excavating here uh, as part of our 2015 Archaeological Field School. An Archaeological Field School is basically an opportunity where students can come out for a period, um, in this case during the summer, and we can teach them how basically every part of the excavation is done and how those artifacts are collected and then brought back to the lab. The students themselves are in the soil uh, digging, mapping, documenting uh, archaeological remains. We find a lot of arrowheads, a lot of deer bones, this is really refreshing as a summer class for me. This is one of the uh, university's experiential learning courses. We have folks who are um, history majors, folks who are English majors, and folks from, from across the university. There would have been prehistoric Indians living here from about 1450 to 1550. We don't know exactly who they would have been the ancestors of maybe the Sisapaha and Chikori tribes. We don't find villages like this all that often that are this well-preserved and have so much stuff, archeological material. What I've enjoyed most about this field school is just being outside, working with everybody, getting a greater appreciation for the field of archeology. span I didn't know much about it before. As an English major, I'm particularly interested in writings of the South and this is the history of the South <laughs> right here in our hands with the artifacts. There is actually a final exam, which we won't do in the field. They, are, they won't be digging for their final exam. We don't want people to just be digging. We want people to be thinking and digging, generating data, evaluating that data, and coming to interpretations. I think is that, that is the very essence of the educational process.